One feature that Orbis provides is the ability to calculate routes from one point in the model to another point. So you can select one site in the Roman world and find out the route to travel to another site. To get started, click Start Exploring the Roman World. Select the site that you want to travel from, such as Rome, and select the site that you want to travel to, such as London or Londinium as it appears in the model, and click Calculate Route. And here we see the fastest journey from Rome to London in July, taking 27 days and covering nearly 3,000 kilometers. The results also give you the cost to ship goods along that route, so the cost per kilogram of wheat using donkey on the land routes is 6.85 denarii per kilogram. The cost to ship a kilogram of wheat using a wagon on the land routes is 7.87 denarii per kilogram. And the cost per passenger in a carriage for that route is 900 denarii. So you can see the course of the route from Rome to London. You can see that it passes through Narbo and Bergadala. And if you want, you can compare the duration of the route by clicking the duration button with the distance of the route and the cost according to those cost metrics that I earlier described. So this allows us to contrast the time taken in particular parts of the route with the distance traveled in those parts of the route. So the road route from Narbo to Tolosa is not particularly distant but takes more time and is particularly expensive. The reason why this particular route was selected was because our priority was the fastest route between Rome and London. If instead we had asked for the cheapest route between Rome and London, so we change the priority and we click Calculate Route, then we'll see a distinctly different route from Rome to London, one that preferences sea travel because sea travel is much cheaper for the shipment of goods than land travel. And if we contrast the duration and distance and cost of the segments of those routes, you'll see that none of them are so particularly expensive because they don't use any road routes. You can click on any earlier route that you've run to get the details of it. You can also change the season or month of travel, so if we compare travel between Rome and London in the winter with travel between Rome and London in the summer, then we'll see a distinctly different route between Rome and London. Because sea travel along the Atlantic coast isn't available in the winter in this model to reflect heavy seas, if we look now at the distance and the duration of this route between Rome and London in the winter, we can see that there are times when you're forced to go over land, making the route significantly more expensive. You can also see the shortest path between one site and another. This is geographically the shortest path, preferencing uh, the kilometer distance of the routes. And you'll notice that that route is neither the cheapest nor the fastest any time of year. Shortest routes are shown in purple. Cheapest routes are shown in green. Fastest routes are shown in red. And so here we can see the distinction between the travel patterns from Rome and London based on priority and time of year. If you want, you can also turn off certain modes of travel. For instance, you can turn off open sea travel and limit your cost calculations, your, your pathfinding algorithm, to routes that only use coastal sea, road, or river routes which will obviously not change the shortest route, which doesn't use open sea travel, but will change the cheapest route, because now you can't use the open sea travel from Rome stopping at Sardinia and North Africa. If you want, you can turn off particular sites by clicking on the site and clicking Exclude Site site will turn white, and then if you calculate that same route, the cheapest route from Rome to London, without using open sea travel, 
you'll see that it has a distinctly different pattern. You can also turn off multiple sites using the select site functionality. And so you can remove an entire swath of sites by, by dragging a box and clicking exclude these sites. You click stop selecting and then run the route again. And now we see yet another distinct route from Rome to London in the summer where the priority is the cheapest route for the transfer of goods. If you want, you can change the mode of travel. This will change the cost parameters on land so that your cheapest route now takes into account a passenger in a carriage instead of transportation of goods via donkey. And in this case, you get yet another different route between Rome and London. So what we end up seeing by allowing this functionality and exploring the different parameters to your cost calculations is that the travel from Rome to London depends on the time of year, the priority of the traveler, and any regions or sites that are not available to travel through. You can also change the transfer costs of routes so that the river transfer cost could be increased or the sea transfer cost could be increased. When set to cheapest priority, this transfer cost is in denarii. So now every switch from road to river or from road to sea or from sea to river costs an extra denarii. And if we calculate that route, we'll see that it's the same route, but that costs an additional three denarii to travel from Rome to London with that transfer cost added. And if we look over the course of the route, we can see those transfer points from road to sea, and then from road to river, and then from river to sea. If you want to examine the routes that you've run, along with clicking on them on the map, you can also click the history button to see the various routes that you've run. It will redisplay them if you click the redisplay button. You can also delete them so that they no longer appear on the map. And you can view these routes in a number of different methods. So you can look at the previously run routes as a list, the default view, or a grid, or as a table. In some cases, such as calculating the route between Rome and London, the shape of the route can dramatically change depending on time of year and priority. In other cases, such as the route from Rome to Constantinople, the routes will not change dramatically based on your priority or based on the available modes of travel. Or based on the time of year. Typically these changes cluster around routes that involve sea travel along the Atlantic coast, which has availability that is dependent on time of year, or routes that involve overland travel in cases where you want to compare the cheapest to the fastest routes. For instance, from Rome to Sirmium, the cheapest route goes around the Italian peninsula, whereas the fastest route goes across the Italian peninsula. As always, if you want more room to see the results of your calculations. You can minimize the panels by clicking on the bars with the triangles at the edge of the interface. Route finding is perhaps the most readily accessible aspect of, of the Orbis model because it reminds us of our day-to-day -day interactions with geospatial network models based on our experience using route finding applications like Google Maps. This route finding underlies the, the more sophisticated views into the model available in the network and flow diagrams, which are explained in other videos.